G'day, I'm Beanie, and you're watching another Beanie Draws video. Today I am drawing Tyrannosaurus Rex, aka Rexy, smashing through his Spinosaurus skeleton from Jurassic World. As you can see, I am putting down the basic, well, not quite basic, I'm, I'm putting down my compositional sketch, so I've got the shape of the head and the body and all that. I'm using a reference image from the movie itself, from the scene, so, um, I had to put in my own version of what the feet would look like because it didn't actually appear in the in the screenshot. And I'm also putting in the rough bits of detail for the skeleton of the Spinosaurus. So now what I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm putting in the details of the shading. What I'm doing for this video anyway is I'm going to try and do bits and pieces as I go along. So I've got the, I've got the teeth, I've got the eyes, and I'm doing in the shading in a very stark manner so like around the eyes and inside the mouth I'm doing it completely black like it appears in the actual movie and in some of the areas as you can see bringing it closer in um, building up layers and sections of rendering and I'm using a ballpoint pen, ballpoint pen for this um, putting the details for the teeth and rendering in the tongue, then I'll be rendering in the jaw, rendering in um, the neck. This is one of those few times where I'm actually trying to render in each segment, so I'm not going to be like rendering all over the place, like the body and then the tail and then scattering it around. I'm trying my best to fit it into one particular area. So I'm rendering in the top part of the head there. Um, I've got this really compressed down to about 24 speed, so this this drawing took about two hours to draw. So now I'm putting in the, um, well I was putting in the skeleton, now I'm putting in the back there. Doing in the details of the skin and gradual bits of shading. Building it up bit by bit. Um, the top of the back there I was using a bit of a sort of a grid and then putting some um, scales putting in some lines in the uh, side of Rexy's body and also building up the shading for a neck building up all these wrinkles in the skin and in the top part of the leg as you can see that top corner I especially focus on those wrinkles and I will eventually be focusing on the arm building it up very black um, with, the, with the legs um, the model that they used for Rexy in uh, Jurassic World, she doesn't have the same scales on her legs as she did in Jurassic Park 1, which is basically Jurassic World is meant to be the same Tyrannosaurus as Jurassic Park. So I figured it seems that Jurassic World's T-Rex model looks different to Jurassic Park's. I figured that I'd use a similar style of footing and legs as Jurassic Park 1, even though she doesn't look like that in Jurassic World. And as you could see in the top corner there before, I was trying to make her tail look like you're swooshing with the feet here. I'm making them dark and putting in the scales, especially up to the knee, which as I was just saying, her, her model in Jurassic World doesn't actually have those scales going all the way up to the knee. I don't know why, I think they kind of messed up a bit there to be honest, but you know, the star of the show was Indominus Rex, so they they kind of lazied out a bit on Rexy as far as I'm concerned. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting in the shading and the background, just putting in little bits and pieces of detail, floating skeleton fragments because she's smashing through the, t the uh, Spinosaurus skeleton as a bit of a screw you to Jurassic Park 3. So now I'm just finishing off the illustration with a few extra little bits of details and extra bits of rendering. Going to raise some of my uh, layout pencils and then I'm going to fill in a bit of pencil shading just to add a bit of contrast to make this illustration look like a final rendering finished piece. So yeah, so I hope you like this video. I hope you like what you've seen. Um, here is the final piece. So yeah, give it a like if you like it. Uh, comment on what you thought, subscribe, and I'll have more for you in the future. So thanks for watching. See ya.